stall would be a support system, right? Right. To his establishment and to, to his agenda. Well, you know, the great thing about God is that he's omnipresent, omnipotent, and the Antichrist is not. So he's going to have to use everything to keep track of people. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I think it's exciting what, like God, what God's Word and is all laid out. all God has to do is just watch us. Yeah, all God has to do. It says, Shoal and Abaddon are open before the eyes of God. How much more the heart of man. Where are you going to hide? Mm -hmm. You can't hide from God. I want to fear God, not fear the, the, all the things that are Let's going on. Let's talk about the cashless society. There's a military base, and I didn't know this till uh, just before the program. You and I were talking. Um, and... There is no cash used on that military base, that's is that right. correct? That's right. One of the things that's, that's happening now, if you'll just look around, we are moving from credit cards to debit cards. Your debit card now has your Visa and Master Charge on it. You can use it in that same way. In Canada, um, 8 out of 10 checkout counters at, at uh, Safeway, for instance, take debit cards. They won't take cash. And if you use the debit card, you get a 10% discount. We're seeing this here now. We're seeing that uh, the convenience of a debit card. I believe we're going to move from the debit card. Uh, we're moving down debit card to eventually cashless. In fact, uh, just earlier they were talking about this, the, the movement to, to a cashless society. And so when we look at the money, people say, well, uh, I, I understand they're going to issue new money. It's going to be chartreuse or purple or this mm -hmm. type of thing. No, they aren't going to issue new money. They've already issued new money. Take your new $100 bills, $50 bills, and hold them up, and you'll see a line down through them. Around the picture are two extra lines. About at the 10 o'clock position on that, on that picture will be, there's a, if you magnify it, there's a little location code. That lines that money up and will tie the serial number of that money then to the person who wrote the check to cash it or to the account mm. that takes it out. So all of a sudden we have money tracking and you can track this money very carefully then. And in our presentations we use overheads and slides and we talk about this. But these are the things. It slipped in. Now it's in the Dutch mark. It's in the, it's in the franc. It is in the British pound. It's in all world currency now. If you hold it up you'll see a line down through it it's not recognizable when you're holding it in your hand, but put it, put it up to the light, and you'll see this line. The line will will, will keep track of what's you said where that money's tracked. That's it. in the hundred dollar bill. Is it in the smaller denomination? It's in the hundreds, the fifties, the twenties, the tens, and the fives. By the way, the GAO has just announced that uh, because of the cost of the one dollar bill, it's going to disappear, and so they're going to go to a coin. And that just came out just a few days ago cost three hundred and ninety four million dollars to uh, replace dollar bills because they wear out so fast. Carl, let me ask you this quickly. A lot sure. of people wonder, what is the new world order? Well, it's like a three-legged milk, milk stool. We have a, a one-world political order, a one-world religious organization, and I'm not talking about a Christian organization, I'm talking about a religious organization. Mm -hmm. And the one world government all tied in together a three-legged mouse stool. And so we're seeing the aim and the goal of, of, of the governments of our, of our land to, to push us to that. Uh, uh, Rear, Rear Admiral Chester Ward said, be careful. Be careful of what's going on right now. He was coming against the, the Council of Foreign Relations and their goal, their goal was to bring about a one world government. It's interesting that the Council of Foreign Relations magazine called Foreign Affairs has just changed their logo this month, the Foreign Affairs magazine, and it's the rider on a white horse with his hand held up, shaking his fist. Mm. Isn't that interesting? When you look at scripture and you, and you look at the rider, the first rider of the, on the white horse in Revelation is the, is the Antichrist. And so we look at a lot of those kind of things. Um, the Federal Reserve System, the golden calf that nobody wants to touch. Uh, men have, have, have died because of trying to touch that. Uh, Harry Reasoner, a uh, uh, man I respect, uh, respect tremendously uh, in sharing with him. 
he says nobody will come against the Federal Reserve. And he put his hands behind him. He said, my hands are tied. And uh, Harry Reasoner's uh, gone now. But and I'm not, I don't know the, the circumstances other than the fact that uh, they haven't determined uh, what went on yet, whether it was homicide, uh, suicide, or what. Well, but, uh, what an exciting moment, and I think, God. Carl, it all comes down to the fact that the King is coming. Right? Praise God. I've, I'm excited and about And what that. the Bible says would unfold in the closing days, in the closing days of time, they are unfolding in, in ways that we didn't understand years ago. I mean, we, we knew in, in generalities, we, we knew with some vagueness, but now specifics and technological breakthroughs that just seem to say, this is how it could be, and this seems to be what is unfolding. We're moving Please to that moment. I've got one last thing, and that is, we're telling people don't take it. The scripture says, don't take it. The two places they determined that it would, would be the best place to put it was just below the hairline on the forehead or on the back of the hand. That was a million and a half dollar study done independent of scripture. Nobody had even looked at scripture in that area. Save so money. We're, we, could, we could ask any mother. All you have to do is ask a mother, where does she check her child's temperature? The forehead. And uh, But anyway, those two places. And so I think that, uh, I think we're going to look at that. We're seeing day school daycare children in um in, uh, you're talking Florida. about chip ampl uh, uh, implantation right yes yep. we're talking about okay. microchip yep. implantation okay yeah. well i wish we had more time dr carl sanders who was an electronic engineer inventor author consultant and a man who's basically saying folks this exciting realize all these things seem to blend in with scriptures speaking of the end of time when yeah. the, when christ is going to come so let's watching live and we have a special guest now, Dr. Carl Sanders, and is an electronics engineer. He is an inventor, an author, a consultant to various government organizations, as well as IBM, GE, Honeywell, and Teledyne. He is also a winner of the President's and Governor's Award for Design Excellence. From his expertise, he is going to be sharing evidence of technological advances that are pushing the world in these last days toward, towards a one-world government. We want to welcome you, Dr. Sanders. Thanks so much for being with God us. God bless you. Praise the Lord program this morning. Now, you know, sometimes when I uh, am introducing guests and there's kind of a long list of things that they've done and accomplishments, you know, I'll kind of just touch on them lightly. But I think it's important that, that our viewers understand that you have consulted with IBM, GE, Honeywell, uh, Teledyne. You have received awards from the government for design excellence. In other words, you're a top-flight scientist. Well, I'm, first of all, a born-again Bible-believing Christian. I love the Lord. And, you know, uh, uh, when I received a, my Ph.D., and after I'd done my doctoral thesis and I had all that, uh, you know, it didn't even cause a ripple in heaven. But when I came to know <laughs> Jesus Christ, the angels it rejoiced. Did. And so, first and foremost, I, I love to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, I'm excited about what he's doing in these days, and I'm excited to share that with people. But... Uh, we're, we're just excited with what but, God's doing. But, you know, it's, it's, it's good for the viewers to know that, I mean, because you have this zeal for the Lord, but your zeal for the Lord and the knowledge that you share, it's not like you're just a layman that doesn't have expertise and you read a couple of articles and something kind of struck your fancy. In fact, because of your background experience and training, you have real expertise in the subject that we're going to be talking about here. Praise God. He, he placed me in some areas that uh, allowed me to be in some, uh, some long-term projects. He uh, put me in some one-world government meetings with uh, Henry Kissinger just four places over from me in some of these meetings and, and Bob Gates and people like this. And so uh, I, was, I was there as an expert witness in, in areas of technology. And so, you know, I became a part of that. And at the time, uh, I didn't really have any zeal as a Christian. In fact, uh, I didn't come to know the Lord until way into these projects, and, and when I did, I, uh, I was told, uh, don't read the book of Revelation, you can't understand it, and so I kind of stayed out of that area, and I was kind of a nominal Christian, and uh, part of our testimony is really the fact that uh, uh, I believe it's easy to serve God without a call in your life. All you have to do is use common sense and veneer it over with a little Christian sentiment, and tie on some plastic fruit, and uh, and bite into a persimmon every once in a while in the world.